Hey folks, welcome to episode 45 of this Let's Play series of Shadow Empire. We are now on round 99, and man, I'm starting to really enjoy this. And you'd have thought that would be a good thing, right? Having pumped about 40 hours into this. <laughs> and if I wasn't enjoying it then, like what, what on earth is going on inside my brain? No, um... I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm starting to get... This is where we're starting to see some of the, the finer game mechanics starting to come into play. And again, oh, hands up, man. I ain't good at this game. I'm not claiming to be good at this game. If you want to watch someone who's good at this game, go and watch someone else. But I, I just think that it's just so much fun. I'm trying to figure out how now how I can... Like, whether I whether I should be trying to move on these guys fast or just starving them out. It's difficult to know because I can't get any spies into uh, into Gigoy Republic, which again I was annoyed about. But now I'm thinking actually it's really cool because it's kind of forcing me to use to use scouting tactics, and you know, there's some real tension in the way that I explore. I mean, the enemy seems to be playing quite. He's not really made. He's not made any counterattacks. He's just kind of re 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 adjusting his forces. I'd like to see maybe tr them play a little bit more aggressively, but. This is just the beginning of this war, right? And I think once they've got once they've got a decent line formed, if they've got it in them, they will fight. I've definitely I've definitely had uh, a bottom kicking at the uh, at the hands of the AI before, very early on in uh, in the game's development. Well, at least early on in my in my play in, in how long I've had access to the game, I should say. Okay, let's have a look at the history. So the, uh, the enemy seems to be either concentrating his forces or rejigging them around. He's also being attacked, uh, by the way, by this guy, by uh, the uh, Gigare packs. They're also attacking them. So, and I expect they're probably at war with the other one too. Um, not Montefel. That sorry, I forget what they're called now. There's another. There's another AI faction. So we've discovered some water. Decade of corruption still going on. We got a fate pack and a fate point for taking large archive. We've researched cluster bombs, which is going to be a big help. We've operationalized mechanized assault infantry armor core. This one's a good one. And we discovered mechanized heavy assault infantry armor. That would just mean there's more tanks, I think. Um, and we've got a load of these, these normal stratagem cards. Loads of them. Um, okay. I'm going to have a look at the decisions. So, Military Research Council. Again, I'm just chewing through all of these. Um, we've not come across any radiation yet, I don't think. Now, I won't probably likely need that until I start using nukes. And I probably will start using nukes at some point. Rocketry is, rocketry is going to open up a, a whole bunch of research for us. So, let's just spend a minute looking at our trajectory through the tech tree. Um, now, rocketry would give us access to missiles, and then missile, and then we we can start getting down into propulsion, right? So, um, rocketry is a good rocketry would come out next turn, I'm pretty sure. We've also got things like heavy combat armor. That's going to take a little while, but quad machine gun is almost researched. Uh, we can even go for light plasma, pl uh, light plasma rifles. That's the uh, that's the best thing that that's the best technology we can get for our troops. Now, I, d I, th I don't think we need that. I think that would be overkill, and it would probably we probably won't be able to sustain the industry needed in order to to fit all our infantry with that. But that would give us a real <laughs> real advantage. Um, by the way, the reason why we're getting we've got so much research in places that we've not even looked at yet, for the most part, is because. We've got, an, uh, we've got a research pact with a couple of neighbours. Now, I, I kind of want to go through and find out what it is that they're using because um, and where they're at. So, for example, our long-term ally, they're not an ally really, but we've got an non-aggression pact with them. It is Rishoye Pax, right? Now, these guys, they've got a tech, le tech level of 6.54. Now, if you compare that to us, we're, we've, actually we've actually got higher up in the tech level now than them and that's because we've got tech agreements with multiple people i think we've also got one with 
not Taridor. That was the one I was thinking of, by the way, before. It's Taurus. So I think we've got a scientific joint effort with these guys. Now, these guys have got the same kind of tech level as Roshoy Apex look. Almost exactly the same. Um, and we can have a look at what Roshoy Apex have actually got tech wise. And they might have gone down a different route to us. So they've got rocketry. Uh, they've got quad machine guns, cluster bombs, advanced sensors. Everything else is looking pretty similar to us. Now, it might get to the point where we, we might be better off going off on our own, cancelling our uh, tech packs, with, you know, our scientific agreements, and you know, just really ramping up the bureau bureaucracy. Because I've actually I'm actually getting loads more bureaucratic points now. Um, yeah, we, we're getting a huge bureau bureauc bureaucratic point penalty as well, 511. Look, because our bureaucracy is huge, and I, I I don't really know what you can do about that. I need to look that up. I think. It just happens when you have a large empire. I don't think splitting it up in, into different SHQs helps, um, but I'll, I'll have to look at that. Okay, so back to the decisions. Um, I'd like walkers because walkers are cool. They're really, really fun, and they might actually be useful. So, for example, I don't think walkers have got the same penalty in desert. No, walkers are quite happy to fight in desert, and... Um, Walkers are pretty effective. They're also good in these mountainous regions, just like infantry are. So we're not going to be using them a whole lot, but they might be worth getting and, and building some models for early. Uh, that's going to take a little bit longer to come out. Quad machine gun is going to be quick. Laser rifles will be useful. I mean, laser rifles will be useful now because it will just make our infantry so much more effective. Um, but I think it's going to be rocketry. So that we can start going down that route. Um, I like using rockets. They're really, again, they're really good fun. Okay, we got loads. I I got loads of these, and I don't really know what they all do, to be honest. I know what I, I think I know what most of them do. Heavy siege infantry, for example, is just more artillery in your siege siege infantry. Heavy assault infantry army is exactly the same, just more tanks. Um, light armor infantry. Uh, we're not using light armor now. Well, we are, but I, I think that we can kind of get, we can go beyond that. I forget what the Storm Infantry Army is. Grenadier Army are RPG troopers mixed in with infantry. They're pretty, I think they could be pretty useful. I, I like how you get the option of using all these, and yet they're not, they're not necessary, you know? Like, Vic's given us the option to, to use these up formations, or you can just kind of use bat battalions of detachment, and I love that. I love that there's the, the flexibility to kind of, to go with what you want. Um, maybe I like mechanized stuff at the moment, so perhaps we could go with the mechanized. Oh, I don't know. Mechanized heavy assault infantry army. But that's going to take a while to make, so maybe just go with. I forget what storm infantry is now. I might try that one just to see what it is, really. Theatre group is making fun of our great nation. Oh. Damn those clowns. Uh, meritocracy would be would be a really, really useful. Although, wow, look, we're at 90% now with democracy. We've actually got a we've actually got an opportunity for this big quality of life bonus. Voters first. I've never actually got all the way up one of the trees. So that's really cool. Um we don't want to be putting autocracy that high because the democracy is just going to crush it straight away. Um, let's go for let's go for meritocracy. So yeah, our skin is thick enough to to take some jokes. Roger that. Okay, worker strike. Uh, our worker in Gannet are harassed. Ah, oh. now I forget which one Gannet is. Don't think we've got. Oh, here we go. We don't really have any troops here. However, we can raise a we can raise a formation here. Pretty quick. Let's just get an independent light infantry uh, battalion on there. Which we can use for guard duty. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this is going to be hard to do. I'd like to try though. Excellent success. So we wiped out the ring. Uh, we managed to ring out the name of the ring leader, and after his arrest, the harassment stopped. Unrest did not increase. Fantastic, and that's that's raised meritocracy. And I want meritocracy up 
Um, I was initially hoping to go Portocracy to get this card. I just wanted this card to recruit special ops, but Meritocracy now, if we get high enough in this, we can actually get recruit talent, and that sh eventually will get somebody who will be decent in, um, in, in covert ops. Okay, so let's give them, let's get some democracy points in. Understood. I need to make some money. Oh, not quack doctors. Go away. This is like, this is becoming my worst card. Oh, it's Phoebe Zirkensite as well. Mind you, she's, she's okay. Uh, she, she had lots of practice doing this stuff. Uh, it's medical role though. Med oh, she's got 11 in medical. Go on. Success. Well done, Phoebe. Uh, you're, you're, you are you have redeemed yourself for being a cap one hero large archive is about leadership okay this guy's cap one he's got agriculture 20 i don't know if that's going to be useful at large archive just to remind myself of what they've got around yeah this is not going to be a farming place although getting farm i mean this will be a better place for farming although it's kind of a bit too close to the equator for open air farming yeah, maybe just maybe that guy will be okay. Roger that. Um, Pillar Dump probably wants to be. Oh no, wait. Meta Mountain definitely wants to be upgraded. I might leave Pillar Dump for now. Um, although Pillar Dump might be actually be on this route where we need to start thinking about getting more truck stations. So where is it? I forget which one it is. Let's just remove this. Pillar Dump. Oh, there we are. Yes. Actually, I think this one does need to be upgraded too. So, Tarador wants to open a line of communication. Where are they on the on the victory score? Oh, they're right at the bottom. Maybe I'll just invade them. Um, maybe I just invade them because if, if they're that low, they're probably not very strong. Now we've got Taurus here. That's Osalar territory. Gosh, this is so slow scrolling now. Tarador is here. That's our. F we are friends with them at the moment. Hold on. No, Tarador's the one we're talking about, right? Yes. Got so many of these factions. So, um, Vertilo. Tarador. That's Gigar Republic. Tarador. I'm tempted to invade them, but I need to see what they've got. Let's get some spies in first before we accept any envoys with them. Um, I suppose we can get diplomatic contacts. We can always reduce it later. So, I mean, we're, at least we're, we're increasing our relationship with them. Now, the 8th Siege Infantry Brigade, oh, we lost a general. So, let's see if we can get somebody to replace that guy. Recruit military. Roger that. No, he's not very good. Ugh. So, what about putting him in the position of one of these other groups? What's this guy like? I say guy, it might be a woman. He's bad as well. I, she needs to be good. Logan Iron Man. He's also not very good. I say, I'm, I'm, I say that. I'm just looking at Cap 1, right, and the war score. I mean, I say he's not very good. He's okay. He's actually um, pretty well experienced. Let's have a quick think about this one, guys. Okay, I found a suitable candidate. So, Naomi Gipford, who's currently in command of the 5th... Uh, light infantry brigade she's been actually using she's she's got a decent gun rating um actually she's pretty good all over she's a cap two she's got war 26 but high command rating um i i want her in a position where she in a better position so i'm going to move her and i'm going to call her oops ah uh, there's a problem political points oh dear I'm just going to leave this for now. I'll do it next turn, but Naomi Gipford is going to go... I'm going to move her into uh, to be the commander of 
the 8th Siege Infantry Brigade and I'm going to I'll put the other guy as the 5th Light Infantry. Those Light Infantry are useful but um and they they actually they they they've probably got quite a lot of veterans now. But I need somebody good commanding these troops down here. So I'm going to get her to do it. Um now those troops are the, the the fifth aren't going to be any good the eighth aren't going to be any good at the moment, so let's get those guys on this on duty just kind of work uh, just garrisoning this large archive. Okay, let's get the rest of these guys down here. So they're actually they're they're actually showing some force here. They've got quite vet some decent troops here as well. These are seasoned troops. They're going to be they're not going to be easy to defeat. Um, actually, they got they had some good troops here as well. And these guys are going to be starving. I mean, I'm pretty sure that I don't I don't want to be attacking them with anything that that can be defeated. Let's move those guys up there, and we'll move these guys up here. So we've got the, just sort of the roughly the same troops. I'm going to bring them uh, the eleventh HQ down here. Now let's let's defeat these. I think. What have we got? Those blockers are pretty strong. They've got a hundred mil steel plate armor. They should be able to. They probably shouldn't take any damage. Um, yeah, let's just move those guys in. Okay. That my uh, intuition was correct. That worked fine. So, okay, now we've got these are all encircled. I think I'm going to spend another couple of months, uh, another couple of turns, just encircling them. I mean, I could try to attack and just see what they're, see what they're like. I could make, I could try making attack with these guys. Although I don't want to lose a lot of troops. Um. We really want to be attacking all with one OHQ, don't we? I'm interested just to see what state they're in. Um, we don't really know what their supply stat status is. Those aren't in a good position to attack. These are the best ones to attack, probably. It looks like they're the greenest troops. Um, and also they're, they're isolated on their own. And if I could, if I could actually take this out, then I could use less troops to basically, yeah. Let's see what we can do here. Let's try and attack. We'll track with everything we've got. Engage the enemy. Oh, we got them, and I don't. Yeah, we didn't even get any losses. I'm really pleased with that. Great job, guys. So, yeah, we'll move the, uh, we'll move those in. So now we've got, we, we the noose is closing. And uh, that felt so easy. But then they were green troops, right? These guys, however. Yeah, I mean, their 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 readiness is kind of low. Although these guys have got quite high readiness and they're, they're relatively dug in. But they're not going to last long once, we, once they come under attack. I'm kind of tempted to attack with these. Let's just see what we can do here. Going in. Okay, we're losing troops. Okay, we lost 200 troops. Um, that's not the end of the world. It's a bit of a shame that we lost some units, but that's that's what happens in war. Um, so we've pushed those guys back too. Let's get let's get these in here. Um, I don't think tanks are going to be much use in these sand dunes, so just we'll leave the tanks for now. Okay, so we've got an encirclement going on here. We could probably defeat these, but there's a lot of them. Look, I mean, one to four is not good. So let's wait another few rounds now. We'll wait for our readiness, our readiness to go up. Make sure that we've got plenty of supply, and then we'll 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 take we'll destroy that group. Okay, we're making good progress, I think. Walkers.
Uh, we've got some decent recon points on this. These guys look relatively green. These ones are a bit more experienced. Uh, we can't. I'd like. I'd like to have tr started getting something down here, but we can't. Um, let's cut these troops off here with those tanks. Now we've mainly got tanks here, and tanks aren't going to be much good when it comes to defense. Spe oh, they got the Velociraptor there. Wow. Um, interesting. Okay, let's defend with our own cataphract. This has got this is a monitor tank with 150 mil steel plating. This thing is going to do a lot of damage to a GR, to GR Velociraptors. They've only got light laser guns with liquid armor. These things have got these have got plasma guns on. I think. Oh, sorry, a beam gun. So no contest. Okay. Uh, tanks here. Maybe I'll just... I'm going to bring these tanks up here. This direction. Just so that we've got um, some defences. Let's make sure that we're going to be getting some supply here. Which we are, by the looks of it. It's going to block this traffic light off here too. This road off there. And probably this one too. Okay. Hmm... Um, That wants to be going that way now, I think. Yeah, this is looking a little bit better. Um, we probably... We can probably block this road off here. Yeah, logistics is becoming quite interesting in this in this desert war. Wow, it's so cool, man. Okay. I might actually bring this, these motorized... Inf these mechanized infantry up here. Although, I think maybe... Maybe this guy, these guys have got this now. I might give them the honour of of, of of taking these guys out. I don't think that they're gonna. I think we're we're dug in well enough now to be in a position where they're not going to be able to really do a whole lot to us. Yeah, maybe so. So let's get get more of these tanks down here, and we'll bring the first over. Ah, oh, we've got. We need to put something up against these units here, though. That's rocky desert. So let's get these tanks in here. Oh wow, they've got they've got a lot of troops. I don't know if the um, if the first are going to be able to stand up against these. Be interesting to see if we leave the enemy um, an option, an, an opening, if they actually take it. I, I would like to see that. Now, I'd have thought that these guys would be suitably softened up by now. Let's see if we can get in at the top here. Let's go. Yeah, they're suffering from supply supply issues. I think. Yeah, we didn't lose anyone there. That's good. So we move these guys in. And it means we can um, we can actually start moving in some of these auxiliaries. Ah, we found some Gigori Republic. Interesting. That's cool. They were sneaking. They were sneaking in there. Look. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Yeah, they should be able to hold. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, okay. No, we're not going to be able to manage this. This is still... They've still got too... They've still got quite a, a few... They've got enough supply, basically, to be able to be a, of a threat. So let's leave that for the time being. Um, tanks, however... Let's attach those tanks to the 7th, if I can. Oh, no, we can't. What have they got attached to them, interestingly enough? Uh, order of battle... Seventh, nothing. Second, machine gun, third. Okay. 
Was I clicking on the wrong ones? There we are. Sixth. Seventh. Okay, so we've got those guns attached. Um, one of these I set on defense. I'm trying to remember who it was. I forget who it was now. Doesn't really matter. Okay. I also forgot about the second, so let's get the second, start getting the second down. The second are actually quite well seasoned, I think. They've got quite a lot of veteran troops. Yeah, these are veterans, so these guys are really, these are, these guys are the real deal. They've seen a lot of action. Uh, I can't move those any further. Yeah, I'm... Oh, those are the eighth as well, damn it. I thought that they were, I don't know why, for some reason I thought they were a militia group. Um, this is the, yeah, they, oh, hold on, never mind. I, I might be able to strap move them next turn. Maybe not, whatever. Okay, I should probably move these, uh, these guys in somewhere. Let's probably pop them here. Okay, I think that, that's risky, that is. That's a risky attack. No, they're pretty ready as well. They're ready, oh, their readiness is low, though. And we've got 100% readiness, although supplies are a little low. What are they missing? Missing a bit of fuel. I don't know, I'm tempted to do that, but it's just, it, it might be a bit risky. Um, now, I know these guys, these guys are, uh, all, uh, Gigari packs are also pushing them, uh, pressing in on these guys as well. So it will be interesting to see what happens here. I want to wait a few more turns for these to starve these this lot out, and then we're gonna we'll be able to defeat them. All right. What have we got over the other side of the map? Uh, we have some militia units to move down, so let's get these guys moving down this way. Right, let's just transfer some of these some of these chaps into one another. Uh, okay, we can't do that by this one. No. Oh, hang on. There we go. Wanted to just get rid of that small unit. Okay. Um, I might move these these guys up just so that we can get some militia into large archive. Okay. I'm really ha I'm really pleased with this situation now. Ah, uh, we've got tanks to move down. So this is our uh, first the first armor brigade. Let's get these armor brigade down. Um, that SHQ, isn't it? Uh, let's move this. Where are the rest? Okay, we can get reasonably far. I just want to find, uh, make sure I've got all of these. So we've got that one. Yep, two, three, four. Ah. These guys haven't moved, so let's let's move these move these guys down, and then fifth, uh, which we already saw. Yeah. Okay. Good. Ah, we've got an independent tank battalion. Um, I wanted to get these ones down here inside as a fast reaction force. So let's get these let's get these guys down there, and I'm going to attach them to the thirteenth. Uh, is it the 13th or is it the 12th? No, they are the 13th machine gun infantry brigade. Okay. Oh, there we go. It's not all in always in order. There we go. So, yeah, these guys got quite a lot of, they've got a lot of forces now. This is Vertillo. Now, they're looking like they're being friends, but they are, they are massing troops on our border. They're just light armor, 60 mil howitzer guns. Uh, yeah, I'd need. I mean, if I had an armored brigade, that would uh, we'd we'd wipe those out pretty fast. You know, if we had a proper medium tanks, heavy tanks, something like that. Okay, and next. I might move these guys up here now and let's find somewhere else for them to go. 
Um, let's move into Palisade. Get these aliens over this direction. Buggies can get down here. So uh, we've got. Oh, hang on. Was that? Were they? No, that was fine. So uh, this is the. This is the seventh. Sorry, not the seventh, the fifth. And I think the fifth. These are the guys that I'm going to be moving next turn. Uh, I'm going to be swapping out their OHQ commander to go and put in the eighth siege, the eighth siege uh, infantry brigade. So I'm going to move most of these guys up. I might keep these here because I'm thinking of putting a zone here. Get a tr uh, new zone. Oh no, we, it's impossible. Why? Oh, p political points, of course. Actually, it, I don't know if I explicitly stated this. I think I did. But we're actually building the, the next level of strategic command here in Skull Tower. Here we go, High Command 3. So this is uh, High Command Officers. And that'll be ready in 1.3 turns. So next two turns probably. Providing it's not interrupted in some way. Now, that's going to give us more political points. And that seems to be one of the things that's holding us back a little bit at the moment. Okay, now we've got this little little war going on here. Let's try and get some recon points here. I might just attack with those infantry into into this. Ah, yeah, it was risky, and we did lose some troops, unfortunately. But the reason why I wanted to do it with them was so that I could I could do this. There we go. There we go. Let's uh, let's attack with these. Try and squeeze them in this direction. Uh, really risky, but they're just not they're not doing enough damage to be able to hurt us, which is good. I was kind of lucky there. All right, so we've got one encirclement here uh, I don't know if I can get my troops any clo uh, into this bit here but I don't know if they'll be able to get out of that um, let's try and attack them on this side I want these guys off my lawn oops that was the wrong way there we go um, yeah get off my lawn okay so now we've got uh, Robosphere Republic these are the these were what I think were the game nemesis at the start, and I don't really know much about them, so I might try and get. Oh, I haven't got any political points. Have I? I can't do anything while I've, I'm so low on political points. I think I, I could play a card, a strategy, a fake card actually, but I don't think I will. Let's just get these. I'm glad I didn't miss those. Up you go. Let's get these guys here. I'll try and amalgamate some of these. Some of these damaged, some of these damaged units. Okay. Um, we do have. I am actually able to strap move some of these guys, so I might just strap move them out now. Where can we get them to? Well, we can get them wherever we want, really. Let's move. Let's move them here. And then I can have a think about where they, I want them to go. We've got two um, two artillery uh, battalions as well. Okay, they can't strap me to any further, so I'll just move those next turn. We've got two art artillery battalions as well. Uh, the artillery would probably be, quite u would be of use down in that desert war. I don't know if I'm going to have the political points for it, but actually raising an artillery regiment would be pretty useful right now. Let's see if we can do that. Um, yeah, we've got political points for it, so where are we? Oh, I'm sure I'm missing it. This is this problem that I have when I'm looking at massive amounts of data. Oh, there we go. Okay, so independent artillery regiment. I want one of these. There we go. 
and these I want a strategic move immediately that as close as I can get them to the the front oh no that was the wrong look that's the wrong guys Dull. okay <laughs> what an idiot um I'll have to move those back next turn. <laughs> let's at least get those guys in the skull tower um <laughs> whoopsie okay right that is it I think I'm going to I might end the episode there because this is a convenient point so what have we got this is round 99 so next turn is going to be round 100 which is the centenary of, of rounds since I started this game and it's I mean it's been such it's, it feels like it's been such a long game and I'm sure people who are used to watching these long war games are going, Ben, 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 this is nothing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I uh, this is like one of the longest, this is the longest Let's Play I've done so far. Definitely been one of the most fun as well. Okay, guys, I hope you're enjoying it too. So I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next episode. See you later.